Can I like wake up if I click or oh there it goes. She woke up. Are we back at the school? The school stage? It looks like it looks that way. Just checking for things I can inspect. Nothing. So we just gotta follow him. I, yeah. I think this second third of, uh this last third of the game is just basically one long cutscene, interactive cutscene, really. We can go f oh we can go back up on stage there, but that's not where we're going. So in here. No, uh, the chat says, I think she killed them. She didn't kill them directly, if I'm guessing correctly. Our life would vanish, but not our guilt. I am you, yet you are not me. It's the sin that makes you linger in this realm. Memories like mirrors reflecting his true likeness, the true likeness of your soul. In a world full of pain and suffering, Fang Rei Shin, what do you fear the most? Believe that we are all born free, eager to walk on your own path, and afraid of losing yourself. You are me. Oh, I actually can switch back and forth. All right, let's save. Um. Because I don't know what exactly is happening right now. I found something in there in the beginning of the game. So maybe I have to switch to her and find whatever it is. Ah! I heard that noise, but nothing else is happening. So I just switch to her. Can't inspect that. But I can leave. Huh, interesting. All right. Oh dear. What the hell? Where am I going? I can go up. What about the other way? Is there anything the other way I'm supposed to get? Like, I want to explore as much as possible and... I'm not suspecting this game of having much in the way of achievements or hidden stuff, but I want to make absolutely sure. Well, as sure as I can on one playthrough, anyway. No, just two different sets of stairs up. Okay. I think I'm pretty right in my assessment that the last third of this is just one long cutscene. Door is blocked by an unknown force. So I'll get there in a bit. Why do I have a feeling I... Oh, God. The bonfire of hope is almost depleted, diminishing in the wind. The secret book club. Oh, no. Some of the book contents might conflict with your everyday thoughts. But this material will help you engage in reflective and independent thinking. Well, let's call it a day. I do want to remind to, ah, sorry. I do want to remind you all again to never mention the book club to anyone else. For that might put yourself and others in great danger. And Wei, I'd like to ask you a favor. Yes, Miss Yin, is it about the new books? I've already given the list to Mr. Chang. He said the shipping company won't help us anymore, but he'll figure something out. The government is enforcing restric restrictions on all imports. Soon the book club might come to an end. Miss Yin, why are things like this? I'm sorry, Wei. There's nothing I can do either. Oh, just one more thing before you go. Mr. Chang never brought us any of those books in the first place, right? Ha! <laughs> I know I can always count on you. Yeah, I think I'm piecing together the plot here. 
Oh boy. What is this? S uh, clip. Wait. Blacklisted to return home for burial. Half a century in exile, blacklisted to return home for burial. During the period of martial law, Miss Yin Sui Han was a wanted political fugitive. She was lucky to evade arrest and left the country only to be blacklisted. She traveled the world fighting for human rights and freedom of expression, but unfortunately died of lung cancer at the age of 50. Her last wish was to be able to return to her hometown. Now this wish can be achieved with the lifting of martial law. I really think I figured this out and it's terrible. No wonder I'm in this weird hell of a school. So, did that open the other door? Did I have to go there first and then... We'll try. Otherwise, we'll just move on. This door is blocked by an unknown force. So we move on. Maybe we have to go downstairs first and like circle around. Okay, we have to go in here maybe. Yeah. Oh dear. The way forward is the path to your past. However, the road ahead has crumbled. Lead me anywhere and I will follow you like a shadow. Okay. We're doing a whole switching back and forth thing. Because I probably have to use this to enter through that other door. Yeah, the door handle is broken. I can't get in. Right. So, let's use this body to go back to the other door that I couldn't open before. Yeah, following me like a shadow. Can't open this door. Uh-oh. The sliding door is wrapped in barbed wire. That's me from earlier. I think. I can't open this door. What the hell? I thought for sure I'd be able to open the mysterious forest door. So do I go downstairs? Now I'm a little confused. Oh, what's this? Who can be calling at a time like this? Yeah. Yeah, these are versions of me from earlier in the game. Well, way. So... If I can't open any of the doors, but I can see those ghosts... Wait, where the fuck did the other me go? Oh, there she is. Okay. Let's switch for a sec. Remember when you enrolled, so full of passion. Participating in every school activity, showing off your academic abilities. Grabbing the attention of your peers and the teachers. Then things took a turn for the worse at home. All the attention quickly turned into unwanted scrutiny. So you chose to escape, to turn a blind eye, grim acceptance. Definitely neither of these two, if my theory is correct, to escape. The world is immeasurably vast. There's always a place to hide. You are me. Am I choosing the ending doing this? I'm kind of afraid I am. This place is completely lifeless. Even ideas are buried here. <sighs> oh, uh, good old fashioned book burning. How wonderful. Remember to thoroughly destroy each book and add the spirit money to throw them off. Yep, the book club got discovered. There can't be any intact book pages, or else this would be for naught. Hey, Wei? You're closer with Miss Yin. I heard that she had to flee the country overnight. Is that true? I'm not sure. She never said anything about leaving. 
Unlike Miss Yen, we don't have the connections to guide us to safety. Aren't you afraid? Well, actually, what bothers me the most is... Do you know how the reading list got leaked out? I do. Stop asking questions. I'm as clueless as you. Let's just hurry up and finish this. We don't want to get caught. Jesus Christ, this is horrifying. <laughs> There's a little too much real world horror in this. God damn. I just wanted spooky Asian ghosts. A written verdict from court. Chang Ming Hui, district level educator, is found guilty within students with students' way and others of collusion with communist forces. Chang Ming Hui is to be put to death after the court court's ruling. Wei Chung Ting pleads guilty to affiliation with communist forces. Reading of prohibited text with rebellious and corrupt thoughts. Will be sentenced to 15 years jail time. God, this is awful. <laughs> I'm, I'm genuinely really fucking upset right now. <laughs> what I still don't get is who the fuck this guy I'm following is. It's probably blindingly obvious. I'm just so wrapped up in, in the other thing. All right, mysterious forest door. What's behind you? The bathrooms. The door is barred by a broom. There's a note on top of it. Snitcher. Remove the broom. Yes. God damn. Oh dear. World's getting a little bit warped. Is this... Who is this? Is it dad? That time in fear, forcing herself to breed hatred. Who knew that she would take that leap and leave this world behind? Nary a last word because of fear? Remorse? The reason remains undecided. I was left with a blur of confused thoughts spiraling through my mind. When I saw the sunlight again, things had changed drastically. My loved ones and teacher went to a higher place. She was buried in an unmarked grave, leaving me a decrepit man. Oh, so it's Wei. is so unpleasant. I, I don't like any of all this anymore. I was I was having such fun being spooked and uh, <laughs> this is not fun anymore. This is terrible. Oh boy. Yeah, I, th I think that was way. I'm pretty sure that was way. 15 years later because because I might not be entirely alive. There's a note on the card. Let's wait a second before I do that. Just to see if there's anything else over here I'm supposed to grab or... Nope. Just switch right away. Wait. Can I not do that now? Did I fuck up? Oh, I just had to make her stop there again. Okay. Moving on. And then we can... Go like this. I thought, but apparently I thought wrong. I 
probably have to go out and through another door. If the door's locked, it can't be opened. So, maybe if I switch... Oh, hey, there's another light switch. So... No, that didn't help any. Huh. Alright. Let's turn that on again and go out and find another door. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Because it like flips, yeah. Or not. Am I confusing myself a lot right now? I think I might be. This door is locked. What the fuck am I doing wrong right now? Huh, okay. Uh, screw that up. So then what the- what the hell? Why am I back here now? Oh boy. I am seriously confusing myself right now. What the fuck? There's me. Note on the card. So back in here. Switch places with shadow self because... Or, or, let's try turning this off again. I'm going. Over here and then switching. Acting immediately on one's determination. This is the philosophy he believed in. That someone should take fate into their own hands. With you following him, what ideas do you hold? Take hold of your destiny, live a laid-back life, submit to one's fate. I mean, this is the idealistic answer. That is a charming thought. Yeah, called my bullshit, didn't you? So life has gained a goal. Next to him, you found yourself. You are me. Oh, I can go outside this time. No matter how many times this replays, nothing can be unwound. You can never redeem yourself. <sighs> yep. This look an, looks an awful lot like an officer. Yep. I know I've been saying it for the last 45 minutes or so, but I figured this out, and this pretty much confirms this. Well, it's been confirmed a million times now, but yes. God fucking damn it, snitcher! I found it on our teacher's desk. Miss Fang, the country appreciates your assistance. God damn it. Did you think finding something to rely on would stave off your fear? One day, however, he was gone, just like that. You've lost everything you can you can depend on. What choice will you make now? I mean, if this is my hell, there's nothing to do but quietly accept what I did.
I think that's adult way and I'm like following him around because he's walking around the school where all this shit happened. Back on the roof. Which I have a feeling is where... Where I died. And that's why everything was black and white, because I was a ghost the whole time. That's my guess. And I have a feeling it's not far off. That also makes the title a lot darker. <laughs> Memories are like a mirror, reflecting the true likeness of your soul. Maybe you still want to forget. Maybe you're still afraid. They are very good at turning these backgrounds into like accusatory staring. Facing your own aspirations but not confessing to the truth. I am you. Yet, you are not me. Yeah. Constantly cycling over and over with only the river Sansu at the end of your journey. Yet, the knot of sin still lies unsolved. The bridge leading to Paramita lies in collapse. So the Requiem with a warm crescendo welcomes you once again. Ew. But oh so thematically appropriate. All I can do is walk past and just watch what I brought, huh? And back inside I go. Start all of this over again. What is this? The part where I got rewarded for ratting everybody out? Oh, so this is where I killed myself. How lovely. I need to go to my shelf and find the dumbest, most sugary, sweet, cute, idiotic, feel-good comedy I can. Because this is uh, going to take a while to wash off. God, what a horrible fucking story. But what a phenomenal game. Like, this was a freaking masterpiece. Like, okay. So, 
Granted, yes, the last third of this was pretty much just one long interactive cutscene. It definitely was, but... It starts out as a beautifully, visually unique survival horror game. With some slight differences in, in gameplay from the norm. And with puzzles that are culturally tied, but still easy enough to figure out as long as you're being just a little bit observant. Like, it's never total moon, moon logic. And then it starts revealing what everything is about. And you might guess it halfway through, but the impact, when you guess it, I did. I guessed that she had snitched, and that was what was going on. L again, you've heard me say that for like the last hour or so, but it doesn't remove the impact at all. This hit me like a barrel of fucking bricks. What a fantastic game. Oh, e everyone loves you. Why, thank you. Jesus Christ. That's terrible. All right. I'm never going to play this again. <laughs> I'm not sure I could put my heart through that one, once more. I really don't think I can. What a great game. What a terrifying experience. Both for halloween -y spooky reasons and for entirely too real reasons. Holy shit. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Hello everybody, it's, uh, it's a couple days after I recorded the last session of Detention, and in the interest of uh, closure and pure curiosity, I decided I wanted to see the good ending after all, but I didn't want to play it, so I've gone and found a recording of the good ending from the YouTube channel Father, check that out, and um, let's see what's so different if you pick all the right choices. Turns out all those questions the ghost version of Ray asks... Um, are actually what determined the ending, and I fucked up. So, let's check out the good ending to the tension. Let's go. We've seen this part, but, uh, it bears watching again. Also, sorry if I sound a little off, I have the beginning of a cold. This is the book list I mentioned before. I found it on our teacher's desk. Ooh, that's hot. Miss Fang, the country appreciates your assistance. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I think this is like the last question. Did you think finding something to rely on would stave off your fear? One day, however, he was gone just like that. You've lost everything you care about. Um... You can... You can what on? I can't even read that right now, and I don't remember, so... What do you choose, father? To give us the good ending? Try to take them back. Huh. Well then. The instructor's sharp gaze was stifling. You steeled yourself and performed without hesitation. In that one moment, transforming into a pitiless patriot. Yeah, that sounds about right. Easier than you think, right? You are me. Well, there's Way. Better follow him. Wait, where is this? What part of the school is this? I remember that. Again, it's been a couple days since I played, so I probably just forgot this part. Oh, this is the roof. Okay, so we're still gonna watch him. Yeah. Have a puff, my dude. Yeah, sorry, I should have fast-forwarded a little more, huh? <laughs> oh, well. What's this? Hallowed... What? Yellowed paper plane. From the white deer to my white daffodil, fate holds us apart, so let us meet again in another life to our freedom. Is that from Wei? Did Wei write that?
open the door. Get on the floor. Everybody, do the dinosaur. Just to make the oldest joke I could. Changming, we, uh, you're suspected of so blah blah blah. Smuggling banned books and organizing illegal gatherings. The court has already obtained the necessary evidence. We now arrest you on the grounds of rebellious activities. Do not resist on pain of death. Yikes. Looks like it will be difficult to escape this time. Yeah, you don't say. Fine. Take my head so that I may join my brothers and sisters in death. Sigh. <laughs> Why? Aren't people born to live freely? Clearly not in 60s Taiwan. To think openly, to speak their minds without restriction or fear. Freedom of belief, love, and self-realization. Being with you was a happiness of the simplest and purest kind. Oh yeah, snogging with your with your student. <laughs> I couldn't help but think when we could be hand in hand, living an untroubled life. But in the end, this is only a fool's dream. Wait, does he see me? I too am vain like the daffodils, fixated on my grandiosity. The world is not ready for the likes of us. I'd say so, depending on how old Ray was. Nothing else to be found in there, it looks like. Oh. Oh, all of a sudden there's voicing. This game definitely likes to be poetic in places, huh? Yes, is there more? Oh, here we go. Hey! It's way! And it's in color now. Almost like we've moved ahead a decade and a half and are no longer in the land of the dead. <laughs> Metal lodging for laborers. Alas, to be demolished, all to be demolished. Oh. Oh, there's the old lady. Hey. Barred from the heavens and from the underworld. Alone and wandering forever she goes. Oh, gee, I wonder who she's talking about. <laughs> There's the stage where everything began. Well, at least where one thing ended and the rest began. Time, it rots everything away. Even I cannot hide from it. Yeah, 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 move on. Places, even though it's decrepit and run down and stuff, and it's full of horrible memories, it's oddly beautiful once it gets a little bit of, of washed out color for some reason. Like, in a weird way, I can actually get nostalgic looking at this, even though I never saw the school as it really was at any point. It's, it's really weird. I guess it just shows how invested I am in this story. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, to the roof. Oh, is this like is this the part we saw before, but from his perspective? With with Ray behind him? I have a feeling it might be. Can he not go further up? Oh, I guess not then. Alright. Oh, is that the classroom? I think that's the classroom. Ah, oh, jeez. Sit your ass down, old man. And there's Ray. Okay, so that's the ending, the real good ending to Detention, which <laughs> I guess it's better than Ray being stuck in hell, but I don't know if that really solved anything, like it doesn't really give any kind of closure, which I guess is the point, like Ray is going to have to deal with the shitty thing she did for all of eternity in limbo, and Ray is going to have to try and live his life with all that tragedy that happened in his youth and with a huge chunk of it taken away in jail but at least Ray doesn't have to suffer through hell on repeat anymore and yeah I think that's good like she doesn't quite deserve all the suffering the hell put her through at least not forever because th there are some sympathetic ideas to why she did what she did but what she did was terrible so if the old lady is right and she's barred from heaven or hell and like forced to be in limbo forever that seems a harsh but strangely fitting punishment what a fucking game man this has been quite a ride wonderful wonderful work everybody who did attention i'm 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 floored i'm really floored awesome one of the best horror games i've ever played not even joking